everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today, I'll be going over genetic imprinting, but before we begin, let's set the base and go over some things. Genetic imprinting is a type of methylation, and the first thing to know is that methylation affects DNA expression. It does this by adding methyl groups to the cytosines at CPG islands. CPG islands are a cluster of CNGs that are close to the promoter of a gene. So what happens is that methyl groups are added to all the Cs, and the methyl groups begin to stick out into the major group when DNA is in its coiled form. What this does is that it prevents the transcription factors from fitting into the groove, and that reduces expression. Usually, methylation occurs in both copies of the gene, that is, the two, the two alleles are methylated, like we see over here, and none, none of the alleles will be expressed. Genetic imprinting is a special kind of methylation, though, because only one copy is methylated depending on which parent the copy was from. This is just a side note, but I'm going to be using this sign to denote the females and to be in red, and the other signs for males are real blue and blue. When the copy gotten from mom is methylated, it's known as a maternally imprinted gene. The methyl group will be on the allele that comes from mom, and the allele from mom won't be expressed. Instead, the allele from dad will be expressed. And the same goes for paternally imprinted genes. The allele from dad will be methylated and won't be expressed for that reason, which means that the copy from mom will be expressed. Another interesting fact is that Imprinted genes change methylation during meiosis, and new tags are added, depending on the sex of the parent. We'll go into that a bit, for, a bit further. Um, the methyl tags are removed during meiosis, and new tags are added. Meaning that maternally imprinted genes, after the tags are removed from the allele, it will be added back in females, because it's maternally imprinted, right? So the moms are able to imprint, but the tags will be added in the males, because the males aren't able to imprint a maternally imprinted gene, because only females are. The same goes for paternally imprinted genes. After the tags are removed, methyl tags will be added to the alleles in males only, but not the females, during meiosis. So let's consider this gene. Um, it's called the long gene, and it's a paternally imprinted gene. It has two versions. It has the long plus, which causes cats to have long tails, and long S, which causes cats to have short tails. Your cat Molly has a short tail, but she recently had a kitten that had a long tail. And the daddy cat in blue here also has a short tail. So why exactly does the kitten have a long tail then? Going off our knowledge of genetic imprinting, let's figure out what happened. We know the allele long plus, because the cat has a long tail, is from mom. So how do we know that? Well, we know the gene is paternally imprinted, meaning that the copy from dad is going to be methylated and won't be expressed. So only the gene gotten from the mom, that's Molly, will be expressed. But then you might ask, why is Molly still short then? Remember, we know that she has the gene because she's able to pass it on to the kitten, because it's obvious the kitten's tail is long. But it's not being expressed in Molly for some reason. And again, going off knowledge of genetic imprinting, we can see that the gene, or the allele rather, long plus, is methylated in her cells which is why it's not being expressed. And since the, the gene, the long gene is paternally imprinted, is a paternally imprinted gene, we know that the long plus allele was from her dad because it's methylated and she's not expressing it. So let's go over the concept of what happens in meiosis again. We, we'll use this example. If the kitten was male, would it be able to pass on methylated copy of its alleles? Now the kitten is heterozygous for this um, gene. It has the long plus and the long s, and it has a long plus from mom, as we previously talked about from Molly, and the methylated allele that we saw at the top, long s, is from dad. Now, during meiosis, the methyl tags will be removed. That's wiped clean, no tags like we see here. So if the kitten was male, the methyl tags will be added to, again to the two alleles since it's paternally imprinted, like we spoke about earlier. When the tags are removed in a paternally imprinted gene, the tags are added back in the males. But if it's a female, no tags will be added. So yes, um, thank you guys for watching this video and good luck on your exams.